Today we're going to be looking at the inside of the Galaxy Fold to see what it is made up of. Before we do that, if you guys are new, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on because it really, really helps us out. And we keep you guys up to date in all the latest tech rumors and stuff like that. So there has been a lot of issues with these Galaxy Fold devices. Now they're not yes. released to the public yet, nope. but the media, some media providers have gotten a hold of them. And if you watch our last video, there are a lot of issues. Well, one particular issue, and that's the screen. It yes, breaks. It's mainly the screen. So it's the first, well, it's not the first, but it is a bendable display, which is an OLED panel, and it's made out of plastic. And it has a couple of complications. But we're gonna be taking a look at the inside of the display or inside of the phone to see what it is made up of. So this is by The Verge to start. The inside of the Samsung Galaxy Fold is marvelously messy. Where they got these images from was a guy posted them on Weibo, but then took them down because I guess he wasn't allowed to post them. But people got these photos yeah. and now they're talking about them, obviously. So the problem is when he posted these photos, he showed the serial numbers <laughs> and they can track which phone has which serial parts so that's why he took them down. But everyone else re-uploaded them, covering out the actual serial codes and stuff like that. So let's take a look at it. First of all, this person mangled their screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but apparently to take the screen off, it was very easy. I didn't know that. And you can see here on the, just on the left side, there's mm -hmm. some scratches. Obviously they probably used a knife or some picking tool mm -hmm. to, to swipe yeah. off. But didn't Samsung say something like, we will replace your screens if they break or something like that? Samsung replaced my unit before yes. when they first announced it. So maybe this was their way of doing that, making the screens easy to take on and off. Yeah, they probably knew that there would be a couple of issues. Now you can see here on the right hand side of the actual like chassis, that looks like tape. It looks like a bit ripped. You know, that's the adhesive that keeps the screen on the frame, looks kinda cool, it's interesting. So on the left side here, there is a bunch of components that were removed. Yes. Like the camera and the battery and stuff like that. So mm. this isn't the actual, what it looks like under the screen. All right, we're gonna keep scrolling down. So these are more of the internal parts. This is like layer by layer. You can see these kind of like data transfer cables over here. An interesting to, thing to note, the Verge, when they were reviewing their phone, they came out with an image or a video or a GIF that will show you the difference between the left and right screen, like there's a delay. Yes. And that's what the data transfer between the right cable and the left mm -hmm. cable, you can see the bottom one looks like the right one and the top one looks like the left one. Yes. So there is a delay. It's mm -hmm. not a smooth transition. Over here you can see a bit more of the hinges. Uh, inside of here, that's not the actual hinge mechanism. These are just other... This is the hinge mechanism. This is the hinge mechanism? Yeah, so the bottom part of the hinge, where you can see here, yes. is, well actually maybe not that part. I think the bottom part, this is where the actual hinge takes place. Like this is the actual hinge where it actually rotates. Or, okay, sorry, so this that's is, what they were showing This off. is the leader. And then these two hinges on the top in the middle are the followers in a sense. Oh, so think about okay. it like a gearbox, there's gonna be like a leader and then the rest kind of just follow suit to make mm. sure that the phone is coordinated. True, then what are these for? These are probably, oh, these are probably to lock the screen in open position. The Galaxy Fold. Maybe like a magnet. Yeah, these are the magnets, okay. All right. So the hinge has five components. Yep. You have the top, the, the three hinges, this cover, and then the, the middle the screen. The two magnets part. here. I, I was saying this is like a whole component. Oh, this like is on the one right component side, of the, the three hinges. Okay. And then and then this whole middle oh. kind of casing that you'd okay. see on the outside of the phone. Next photo. Ooh, so this is more of the back image. You can see the batteries. The one battery. The one battery. Both sides have different batteries. Yes. An interesting thing to note though is that the batteries are different sizes. Both of them also don't say how much power, sorry, how much milliamp hours there is. No. It just says TBD milliamp hours. And then on the other one, to it says determined. TBD W hours. So watt hours, so a quick charging. This one here is a quick charging one. This one is right above the USB type C input. And this is also the one that features the bilateral charging or this is where the bilateral charging would be. A couple of under other interesting things, you can sort of see like this cooling system over here. This is for the CPU and GPU. You know, Samsung is now pushing this liquid cooling technology into their phones. Yeah, that, I think that those are magnets, huh? Yeah, probably because it because the videos that we saw, it does like snap close. Or it yeah, snaps open. snaps open. The Galaxy Fold. That's probably it. That's kind of cool though. All right, next, a couple more of those data transfer cables. Yeah, so you, I guess, sorry, what I said before, these are the right side here, mm -hmm. these are the right side, and then these are the left side, and there is kind of a lag. I mean, it's not too noticeable, but no. once you see it, you can't really unsee it kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, when are you like ever scrolling up and down? That's more well, of a fidget thing. But like, if you're just scrolling normally, 
it's not that big of a deal. But again, once you see it, you can't really unsee it. So yeah, we get kind of annoying. It. Yeah, that's true. We're gonna keep going. I mean, the chassis looks pretty good. I feel like there's a lot of room for improvement with it being the first generation. Oh, absolutely. Like there's a couple manufacturing extra screws and but stuff. But having said that, it is a very complicated yes. device. Oh my God. Very complicated. This hinge, like did you see the video when they unveiled it of them just showing off the hinge? Yeah, it's incredible. In the press conference. Look, there's like a gear in there. Holy cow. All right, next. Once again, this is just the back showing more components. They actually took off the hinge components. So that's like them separated. Ooh, okay. So this is the back of the phone. They have removed a couple of layers. Like the casing. Yep, couple of casings. And you can sort of see like the motherboard and how everything's sort of soldered together. There's that battery over there on the front side. Oh no, this is a screen. Is this a selfie screen? No, that's the that's the battery. The reason that there's no images of the front of the screen. front front is okay. because they had issues when they took it off, like it broke. Oh, or something like that. okay. So the front screen goes on the other side of this plastic here. Mm -hmm. Okay, but no, it look it looks complicated. But there is a lot of room for like like there's a lot of space here. I don't think newer phones or the S10 had things like this, like all this air room. During the development phase of the Galaxy Fold, mm -hmm. it went through a ton of iterations. So they started mm -hmm. with a design, they worked with that, mm -hmm. they found some issues, then they redesigned it, and they kept on redesigning until they came up with this finished product. And again, like Santa said earlier, in years to come, when they release maybe the Fold 2 or something yeah. like that, it will be better designed mm -hmm. because of the issues that they found with this. Look at the camera layout. So that's the ultra wide, that's the standard one, and that's the telephoto one. That looks pretty complicated so, but they do need a lot of room. And this is like the selfie selfie. Yeah, the front selfie one. Yeah, the, everything is just sort of laid out a bit more. Looks so complicated. Oh my goodness. Imagine being a phone manufacturer. And then the thing that goes wrong is on the outside, <laughs> the screen. All right, once again, we're back to the original photos. We're gonna be going over to a different website now. It's called GSM Arena, where you said they had a couple of extra photos. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Ooh. Okay, so I see a couple new ones. Let's click on this one right here. So it shows that the screen actually connects to the phone on the left side when it's open. So that's why there's a delay on the right side of the screen when you're scrolling up and down. Makes sense. But it's kind of interesting too how it's only connected on the one side. So all the data comes from the top corner and has to transfer to this side. I mean, that's probably the only way that they figured out how to do it. This yeah. is the first of its kind to yes. have two screens simultaneously in one. Yeah. So this is probably the best way they could figure it. And then they have a data transfer or two mm -hmm. cables to data transfer right here. Yeah, between the two motherboards. No, it's it's intense. Something else about the hinge. Yes. Apparently, like it's such a complicated process and it requires such precision mm -hmm. that if the if it's out of alignment ever so slightly, it could cause damage to the screen. So this could be one of the reasons oh, that the screen here. is having issues. I think the guy from the okay, so the guy from the Verge got dust in between his screen. As near as I can tell, something got stuck in between the screen and the hinge on my first review unit. He also had a bunch of scratches. That was on another thing. They were saying that debris or dust can get through the hinge and impact mm. the screen. But I mean, his phone, when I was looking at it, he said there was a lot of nicks on his actual screen. So how careless was he with his phone? The screen and the protector thing are plastic, which means it picks up dings really, really easily. Like there was a, like when are you ever just like toss, like look at your phone right now. There's no nicks on this screen. You mainly leave it like facing up. You know, you take care of it. What was he doing with his phone to get it damaged like that? Boyfriend, sorry. Ah! I have no idea. Getting debris in it. Probably puts it in the pocket with his keys. But even if you put it in the pocket, you still fold it. But there is that gap, maybe something, yeah, there's a, gap. Like a coin or something mm -hmm. to slide in there. So this was our first in-depth look at inside the Galaxy Fold. Yes. And I'm sure in days to come, there's gonna be a lot of people who are actually taking apart and posting videos and pictures, but we wanted to give our take on it. What did you think? I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, phones are so complex. Like we take it for granted how much is packed into a cell phone. Yeah, and when, and when something malfunctions, we get really mad. But yeah, just looking at the inside of this new technology, mm -hmm. the Galaxy Fold, it's kind of like humbling to see how how much work and how much engineering and and hard work these people put yeah. into making their phones. I don't even know where to begin. I got a battery, double A. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, let us know what your thoughts were, and subscribe if you're new. See you later.